this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today we will be unboxing Night Hunt Reckonor. And Happy Halloween! <laughs> Alright, let's see what loot we've pulled from here. I've made a contract with ghosts and I've got a new character, quite excited to add him to my group. Reckonor the Grim Hailer. Next steps. Huh. The next step to take after acquiring this guy. Oh my gosh, he looks great. And he's colored. Sure. <laughs> Look at the details on those, on that horse. And those wings. Hmm. Not a lot of texture on this wing, so you'll have to be very careful wet blending them. But this is an easy to build one, so great for someone who isn't that familiar with how to uh, build models. On the other hand, uh, the smoothness of this should be good for um, creating a nice flame effect. Huh. Yes, perhaps I'll do that on the wings as well. Right, that's probably what it was supposed to be, isn't it? Yeah, they're supposed to be spectral wings. Hmm. Perhaps we shall have to try some airbrushing instead. I think so. Maybe airbrushing and then a little bit of wet over top. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. That's the little statue that he's galloping over. Very nice. He is going to be so much fun to paint. Yeah. Look at that base. I did not skimp out on that base. Look at that. And that. Oh, there's so much detail. It's just gorgeous. I am so excited to put this together and paint it. Look. Little candles on top of the horse. All right, something about snuffing out candles. Really cool effect. I uh, read through this buildy once and was like, well, I need him now. So here's the assembly guide. I put together the model and if you wanted to uh, mimic the color scheme on the box, they have all of the different paints that they use here. And of course, in a various um, various languages, uh, they have his war scroll. So what he does and why I want to use him, uh, he has seven wounds. He moves fourteen inches. So he's my he'd be my fastest um, mover in the bunch because the uh, the knight of shrouds that I use are twelve inches. So he's fourteen inches. Save four plus, which is standard really. And Bravery 10 is standard, 7 wounds for one guy. His Fell Reaper is 2 inch range, uh, 4 attacks, 4 plus to hit, 3 plus to wound, run minus 1, 2 damage. And these ghostly hooves and teeth are 1 inch, 3 attacks, 4 plus, 4 plus, 7 attacks altogether, which is nice. And some run minus 2 and 2 damage is also nice. Now, he is a named character, and he can fly, of course. Um, 
corpse candles. So that's why he's got his candles on. In your hero phase, before this model attempts to cast a spell, you can say that it will snuff out a corpse candle. If you do so, pick either this model or an enemy model within 12 inches of this model. This That model suffers one mortal wound. If the mortal wound was suffered by an enemy model, add one to the casting roll. If the mortal wound was suffered by this model, add three to the casting model. So you can choose himself and you add three to the casting roll, you know, for something rather important. Um, or you can choose the enemy model, have them take a mortal wound, and you still add one to the casting roll. So, pretty awesome. A great wizard. Um, so he's the ethereal, ignoring modifiers, um, positive or negative when making saving rolls. A frightful touch. If the unmodified, if the unmodified hit roll for an attack made with the Fell Reaper, that's the four attacks uh, one he has, the attack, sorry, attack made with the Fell Reaper is six, uh, that model inflicts two mortal wounds and the attack sequence ends to not make a wound or save roll, so nice. Uh, reaped like corn, you can reroll failed hit rolls for attacks made with Fell Reaper if the target unit has five or more, so that's the same as the um, uh, Reapers. He reaps the same as they. Reap like corn. Likes having a lot of models around him. Again, he is a wizard and he has one spell and one unbind attempt. He knows Arcane Bolt, Mystic Shield, and Wraith Storm spells. So, Wraith Storm has a casting value of seven or four or five. If you take a mortal wound using his corpse candles, and look, it's no maximum to how many corpse candles he has, he just keeps doing it. Lovely. If successfully cast, pick an enemy unit within 12 inches of that of the caster that is visible to them. That unit suffers D3 mortal wounds. If any models in that unit are slain as a result of this spell, that unit immediately suffers an additional D3 mortal wounds. Do you see why he could possibly take three, uh, deal one damage to himself? So his wounds just go down one, and he's got seven wounds, and you add three to the casting roll to possibly do 2d3 damage to the unit nearby him. And uh, and then he's gonna use uh, Reap Like Corn on big uh, units with four attacks. Oh, I do very much like him, and I am excited to flesh out my... Uh, my list of Night Haunt with him. Such a great model. And he looks gorgeous. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. I don't know whether I'll have the greenish ghostly, ca handle, um, ghostly candles. I did that for all the wardens. Maybe I will. Oh, he just looks so great. Look at that base. Oh, Like and subscribe if you enjoyed our videos. And have a great Halloween.